high school, we would skate at the Coliseum, and we'd always skate right after the Badgers men's team. And my dad was actually the Zamboni driver there, so I kind of got to you know mess around there a little bit with the Zamboni after hours growing up and in high school, you know, in college to make a couple bucks on the side. I actually have a criminal justice degree, so after school I was a police officer for a while. Down the road I got an opportunity because I knew that our previous guy Art was retiring, where I could get in, get on the ice, be around the teams, and now it's been four seasons now, so it's it's gone pretty quick. Usually one of the first people here, and usually one of the last people to leave. The challenges for me are keeping the ice thicknesses right. Typically, I like to keep Laban about an inch and three eighths thick, um, but with both teams practicing, it's about an inch and a half thick. By the end of the weekend, we're going to be down to close to an inch. So we we plan on losing a half of inch of ice this weekend just on the games alone. You're kind of planning your your workload ahead of time, preparing ahead of time, especially when we have weekends like last weekend where we had four games and this week we have four games. Basically a game day, the women will have a morning skate before the game around eight. So I have a chance to get in and make the sheet once or twice, kind of depending on how the team left it the night before. I know how much I can cut, how much I can't cut, where I can cut, where I can't cut. And it's kind of back to back to back after that between the visiting women's, our men's team, and then the visiting men's team. So right there it's four to five cuts. By that time, it's typically around 11, and that'll give me an hour and a half before women's warm-ups to edge, scrape the edges, and then dry scrape all the cut skate marks out, and then I'll lay down a couple extra resurfaces with water um, to kind of get that glassy mirror look, what we're looking for, and then it's kind of game on at that point. Here's Shirley, open player is headed. She finds her and scores! And as soon as the women's game is over, we're doing the same thing over again for the men's game. An edging right away, uh, scrape, a couple dry scrapes, a couple resurfaces. It's kind of a tight window. You know, typically we don't have back-to-back -back games. That's something new to me this season. So I think we'll have an hour or two to get the ice ready again and have it perfect for the men's game. Now here's Gordiak, he scores! Oh, goodness! Walker denied by Rowe. Ice S kicks it to his forehand and shoots and scores! Offense title, low range shot, Weisbach deflected in by Ty Peltzweiss! Still 3 nothing. Wisconsin and in a photo scores! After the men's game, we'll edge and scrape, and the first thing we'll do is we'll go out there and we'll take ice measurements. I check 55 spots on the ice. Um, 11 rows, five times across covers the whole sheet. That kind of lets me know where we're at, where we lost ice, where we're thick, where we're thin, so that, you know, that factors where we're cutting during the game and everything. But it kind of gives me a base where we might need to add some water, take some away, and I, I kind of know the night before what we're looking at for the next morning and the next day of games. Linus Weisbach and Kelton Bice heads to the net, and Weisbach turns and scores! Tonight Holloway, Kelton Bice back out there, open Caulfield, shoots and scores! Oh, he makes it look so easy! And the Badgers score two power play goals in 37 seconds. Back to Borlicki, he'll shoot one, he scores! The Badgers extend their lead to 3-1. Jason Doogie, Jason Doogie's gonna step the length of the ice and tuck in the empty netter, and Wisconsin will get the series sweep. I've kind of told some guys here that driving the Zamboni is kind of the fun, easy part. Perfect example is this weekend. All the all the work that goes in the ice for this weekend has been done ahead of time. You know, people kind of think the ice is you know three, four inches thick when you ask them, and it's it's a I mean, we're only talking an inch and a half at most because we're cutting a lot during games and it's a lot easier to cut the ice than it is to build it up. There's always something going on where you're, you're working on it and getting it ready for the weekend.